Hello guys, welcome back to Simon Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Simon Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the stress and strain. I will explain this concept with the help of the diagrams. Let's consider this is any column, and this column is being acted with a pointed load of P. So due to this load acting on this column, it will create some internal forces in this column. And this internal resistance to this upcoming load is known as the stress. So the stress is basically the internal force. The internal force is created inside the column or a body dividing by the cross-sectional area of the column. So this is known as the stress. While it is different from the pressure, pressure is the external force dividing by the area while stress is the internal forces created inside a body dividing by the area is known as the stress. So the internal forces is basically due to this upcoming load P. So that's why we call that the stress is equal to the P dividing by the A. Where P is the this load acting on this column and A is the area, cross-sectional area for this column. While it should be kept in mind that this P is basically the internal resistance or the internal forces created inside an object. So this is the stress. While this type of stress is called as the normal stress. This is called as the normal stress. And its formula is the P or we can say the load divided by the area. Are in this case P divided by A. This is called as the normal stress. We have another type of the stress that is mostly common in the beams. Let's consider this is any simply supported beam and this is the load acting on this beam of magnitude of W. So due to this load it will show deflection and there will be some stresses created inside this beam. So now this type of stresses will not be a exit or normal stresses but in this case these stresses will be called as the flexure or the bending stresses because this beam bends due to this load so we have stresses created inside this beam called as the bending stresses bending stresses are the bending stress and its formula is my divided by the i where m is the bending moment here where we, where we want to find out the bending stresses so M is the moment where we want to find out the bending stresses. So we will put the moment value there. Y is the, if this is the cross section of the beam and this is the neutral axis. So Y is the distance from the neutral axis up to the point where we want to find out the stresses. Let's suppose we want to find out the stresses here at this point. So this will be the Y distance. Similarly, I is the moment of inertia of this cross-section of the beam. So this formula is used to find out the bending stresses while the bending stresses is mostly in beams because beams try to bend due to the upcoming load while in case of the columns we mostly have the normal or the axial stresses because this load acting along the axis of the column and we mostly have the normal or the axial stresses in the columns. So now what is strain? Now to explain the strain, the strain is basically related to the deformation. Strain is equal to the change in length divided by the original length. So if I consider again this is any column and this column is being loaded with a P of any magnitude. So due to this load, this column will try to compress. So this, let's suppose that it, it has been compressed with the distance of delta L. This is the change that, change that occur in this column due to the upcoming load. So, and this is the original length of this column. So, we can find out the strain which is usually represented by epsilon equal to the change in length, this change in length, dividing by the original length here. So, by dividing these two values we will get the strain that occurs in this column. 
So it is basically the deformation. It is a ratio with no unit, but it is only the ratio of the two lengths. One we call is the change in length, and other is the original length of the object. Hope you guys understand the basic concept of the stress and strain, and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.